Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about five feel-good TV shows to help in times of crisis, like the global pandemic we're in right now. <laughs> pop culture gal. That's me. I'm pop culture gal. Watching these TV shows is like cuddling with a puppy, you know? It's, it's good, it makes you feel better about yourself and sometimes it's hilarious. The king of feel-good TV shows is Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, if you've never heard about it, it's a TV show about police officers in New York. Um, they're in the Nine-Nine precinct, but it's absolutely not centered on their police work. It's more centered on the characters. The main character is Jake Peralta and he's an idiot, but a lovely idiot. And every character has something you can identify with. It's it's truly amazing and the diversity in this show is really, really well done. And we want more shows like this one. Yes, you should be very proud of yourself. I know things aren't exactly where you want to be right now, but uh, I promise you they will improve. Thank you, Captain. Every time someone steps up and says who they are, the world becomes a better, more interesting place. So, thank you. Another really feel-good TV show is One Day at a Time. Uh, this one is one of my favorite ever. It's about a Latina family living in the US. It's about following this family and seeing how they go through things. Uh, there's a coming out story about uh, the elder kid who's a lesbian. Uh, they talk about non-binary people because there's a, a character who's non-binary. It really talks a lot about a lot of things, like the mom is a former military, about the racism they experience, sexism because one of the characters is a fierce feminist and she talks about it all the time. I want to talk to you about the female orgasm. It's about education and sexual education and genders and these shows really make you connect with its characters and emphasize with them. Third feel good TV show, uh, it's about Jane the Virgin. Uh, the story of Jane the Virgin is about a young Latina Catholic woman who never had sex before marriage and now she finds herself unexpectedly pregnant. She was artificially inseminated uh, against her will, she didn't know about it. Even though we need to talk about Gina Rodriguez and how she has been uh, problematic with the uh, black communities, it's hilarious. It's really a TV show that's uh, great and makes you feel good and makes you laugh wholeheartedly because they are making a telenovela genre but without making fun of it really. They're playing with the codes and it's like evil twins. You have an insemination in seven then a pap in eight. Uh, yeah, an insemination in a pap. Yeah, Should I got I? it. No, I got, I got it. She does not got it. Next TV show is The Good Place. The pitch is about a young woman who dies unexpectedly and she finds herself in the good place, which is um, heaven. But she was a terrible, terrible person. She was really an asshole with everyone. And so she knows she's not supposed to be in the good place. So she's trying to navigate these thoughts and what to do. Does she come clean? But coming clean also means going to hell, which <laughs> doesn't sound so fun. It's beautiful and there are some valuable lessons in it. But we must remain emotionless. I'm talking Kristen Stewart on a red carpet level of emotionless here, all right? Last but not least, this show. Grace and Frankie. The pitch is two old ladies who learn that both their husband are dating each other and they're breaking up with them so they can get married themselves. And so they have to live together. One of them is like a hippie, very chill, and the other one is like tight businesswoman. So they are the opposite of each other, but they are learning to rebuild themselves uh, while they're old. I love this TV show because never really put forward uh, stories of elder people, especially elder women. And really this TV show is is a new way to see things and is very very endearing and you love the characters and you learn to love all the families and you get really attached to them. We're gonna find new people to talk to. People who understand exactly what you're going through. This is a group for wives of husbands who've turned gay in their 70s. It's a new story that we are not used to see and it has the amazings Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda so you should miss it. So yeah, these are the five TV shows that are advice for anyone who's feeling a little down. See you soon.